Jenny and Simon have three children. Cameron, who's eight, five-year-old Flynn, and Madison, who's nearly three. The baby of the family, Madison, has a vice-like grip over Mum. I want to meet me. I want to meet me. Despite eating regular meals with the rest of the family, Maddie still demands breast milk, what she calls Mimi, any time. Quick, quick, quick. And anywhere. <laughs> quick. It's getting to the stage where I'll have to sit in the car park and feed her before I can come home. It's at the point where both mum and daughter can't bear to be apart. We both tend to get separation anxiety if I've got to leave her. So anywhere I've got to go. She comes Hi, with me. Hi, Joe. Pleased to meet you. Hi, Simon. You all right? Today, yeah, Super Nanny will be observing the family routine. And first up is a typical trip to the local shops. But before they can leave, Madison will need her fix. And have some Mimi, yes. Mimi is breast milk. She can breastfeed anything up to ten times a day. It just depends what type of situation we're in. Madison's three years old and she's feeding every three to four hours. That's what a baby does. This is all about control and using the breastfeeding as control. And mum knows it, but she carries on. Maddie is controlling you through the breastfeeding. This woman's own breasts are holding her to ransom. Madison is feeding the same amount of time as a baby of nine, ten weeks, every four hours. I mean, so wonder, so wonder you're feeling how you're feeling. Imagine you've had what parents have in the first month for three years. I don't even know how you're still standing. It's not admirable. I would sit here and go, well done, you've done that. Because you look tired. The fact is, you know, at three years old, there's nothing nutritional wise she couldn't get from a healthy meal. Mm -hmm. Super Nanny sets to work tackling Madison's constant breastfeeding. Okay, so. First things first, yep. all right? This breastfeeding technique is to really wean you both okay. off of breastfeeding, yep. okay? Three-step process. First day, morning and night, nothing in between. Okay. Tomorrow, nothing all day and just in the night. The next day, nothing whatsoever. So let's do it together. Let's wean off the breastfeeding and let's create a healthier relationship between you and Madison. Feeling good? Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous because I know in the past when I've tried, she's, she's got herself into such a state that mm -hmm. she's vomited. And... and that's why she continued to do it, because it worked. Yeah, yeah. She realised when she behaved that way, it had you okay. by the reins. True to form, Madison arrives home from nursery with one thing on her mind. We're going to have Mimi tonight when we go to bed, yes? Yeah, we had Mimi this morning and we're going to have it tonight when we go to bed. Because she's constantly been attached, what we're doing is separating that. Super Nanny knows that detaching Maddie from Mum's breast needs Dan to take a more active role. So when Mum pops out... She'll be back soon, lovey. I hate you! Oh, basically. Super Nanny teaches Dad the art of distraction. Maddie, where's the other one? Like, there's this one that I saw on the floor. But where's the other dolly? Hang on. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Right. Can you just show me how you put it in here, though? This strap thing, because I want to put the baby in here. How does that... Right, hold on. She's going to be nice and safe now. Maddie, well done. Give me five. Yeah, give Daddy five. Well done. Yay. All right, so hold on a minute. Are they sitting down, though? I've seen her sitting on her dad's knee. Never really seen that before. It's lovely that she's sitting there nice and quiet and calm. Yeah. Okay. A really good start for the morning. Good for Mum, because she peeked through the window. She realised everything's fine with Simon, that he's perfectly capable of being able to take care of his own child. And at the same time, it taught her that she needs to be able to let go and do that more. Hello, gorgeous. Mummy. Oh, have you been playing with Daddy? There's still a long way to go. I was only next to her. 
but it's a step in the right direction for Simon. Oh, it was nice to spend a bit of time with Madison, just you know, me and her, her cuddling me, her telling me what she's doing, playing there. And when everybody went out, we sat together, we played with a doll's house. So she's great, and it just made it, made the change. It's nearly bedtime. Not my time. Not Super plan is to focus on weaning now and to move Maddie out of mum's bed tomorrow. So tonight Maddie's allowed one feed before bed, but none during the night. Of the riddle. Thanks for helping. That's good. Very, very good. Okay, mum's in control now of when she does the feeding. She'll either sleep or she'll read her a little story. And tomorrow we'll then move her on to making sure she can sleep in her own room. After nearly three years, going a whole night without Mimi is a challenge for both Maddie and Mum. But Mum stays firm. 